Welcome to my allotment diary for the last two weeks of August, a hot and sticky time of the year. Following on from the first two weeks of August, I completed my strawberry bed. Because of the hot weather, I started the work early in the morning uh, on this clip and you can see that the soil looks darker because the sun is coming up from the east from the left. And I came back in the evening and uh, completed uh, the next section and you can see with the sun being on my right the soil looks uh, a lot browner as the sun goes down. As I stated in my last update, uh, because this is the last bed in the row, uh, I have uh, more soil due to the risings of the other three beds and therefore I have to make the bed that much deeper. So uh, when I've finished uh, the uh, 8 inch timbers I'm going to add on to the top uh, 6 inch timbers giving us a total height of 1 foot 2. Now oh, come on Michael, if you're going to play music during the clip, beat the nail in in time with the music, please. That's better. Thunderstorms and heavy rain are forecast for this evening, so I've got to get uh, a move on. I finished the bed and got the soil back just in time. Like most uh, people, I've got a glut of uh, beans, runner beans, so uh, here's a couple of bags that are for the freezer. My first attempt at brassicas this year was a disaster and I had to redo it, but I'm quite pleased with the results. And though it's late, this is my first cabbage of the year. And boy, wasn't it sweet. The succession sowings I did on the 15th are doing quite well and uh, my next crop of lettuces are make, starting to make their heads now. The spring onions are developing into quite uh, uh, big plants. They're still just as tasty. My wife insists that when I take uh, produce home it has to look as though it was bought in Tesco. The soil in the strawberry bed is given a regular hoeing to bring it down to a fine tilth. And when satisfied with the tilt, I then give it a final rake over. And when raked over, a dusting of blood, fish and bone, which I will leave for a couple of weeks. I have to be careful trimming this edge. It's uh, a mass of uh, blackberries at the moment. No gardening today. Um, we're out uh, for lunch at my eldest daughter's celebrating my birthday. Subscribers and regular viewers will remember uh, the upload where I put in this bark chip in to combat the weeds. Well this is what it looked like on the 22nd of August 2016 after we'd had that heavy rain. I think we can mark this down as a success because after I'd spooned it uh, the bind weed just came up. Not one of, bit of it had planted itself into the bark. And I finished the rest of the day off streaming around the plot's extremities. I overdid it a bit in the heat, so tomorrow morning I'm definitely going to have an early doors start. First job, water and trim the strawberry plants. The north appendix plot, as I call it, has been seriously uh, been forgotten over the past past months 
and I'll have some serious weeding and uh, getting back into shape to do. I could do with uh, some of Adam's uh, magic beans here, but no such luck. The slug damage to these sarpos really makes you weep. The slugs have been terrible this year. When you've let a section of your plot to its own devices and just let it go, it does take some time to get it back into shape and there's only one way to do it, you've just got to get down to it and tackle it. These are some of the unearthed sarpos that I've cleaned I'm going to take back home and try them out and see what they taste like. Slugs, I hate you. As I said previously, these are the leftover plants from the first uh, plantings and I didn't realise uh, the cauliflower had survived, I thought I'd lost them all, but here they are. The original intention with these cauliflowers was to put them into the show like I did last year when I won first prize, but I missed that. Well thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, if you did Give me a thumbs up please, but please make comments. And if you've not already done so, please subscribe. But for now, bye!